War. War never changes. Welcome back to Fallout 3, everybody. We are going to go right up here. And go right up there. Uh, which is straight over north. And try to find the next vault in our locations. Uh, found all the locations over here, so that's good. Vault, Vault 108, not 6. Vault 106, 108, 108. Is there a, another nice doggy around? Yep, hey doggy. What's this place along the lines? going over there. Uh, uh. So another place popped up. I don't really know how far they are on the little mini-map. It's this place, huh? factory. The burger factory. Alright, I just wanted to get it on my map so I can go back to it. I want to get to this vault. That's our next objective. There's another iPod just hanging around. It's getting pretty close. Oh, here it is. Oh. Well, that's a bad sign already. These other vaults are, uh, not having a great time, are they? Hey there, buddy. Sure, why not? Living, uh, yeah, why not? We're already here. Got one here. Get your... Gary? Take every single one of them. Said like Gary thirty three. Is he like a like a what's it called? Um, like a clone or a robot? Over here. Oh, he definitely looks like a robot or a clone, rather. So basically the same thing as the insane ones, just the same model they used over and over again. And they have guns this time. You have a mini gun, you're fine. Hmm. 
Anything else? Rad roaches. They're not friendly. You can just stop on those rad roaches. You don't really need to use a minigun toward them. That was actually blocked off, so let's try and find the place that was blocked off. Hmm. Hmm. if we'll be able to find Gary 1. Take those apples. down. We want to go up. Oh! Oh. Almost hit you. Ah, oh, it's the same thing. Okay. Alright, we can go down. Carry which one? Enemy contact. Which carry? Where? Which one was that? Carry twelve. Getting closer. Gary? Mm -hmm. Ah, Gary. Number 25. <laughs> they just like, they're like Pokemon, they're just saying their name. Special about you, carry one. You're just carry one. Hey, that's another bobblehead. Ooh, nice. It's Gary? Mm -hmm. It's probably the biggest thing I can get in here. It's that bobblehead in that uh, book. Which one was this? Gary 41. Damn, how many Garys are there? Gary? Hmm? Ah, we've Gary. got company. Where? You're facing superior weapons and training. Submit. Did you already go through your whole ammo? Jeez. Yeah, I think that was the biggest thing you probably get in here. There's the bobblehead, so I don't mind. Oh. Interesting. I didn't know that was the way out. Huh. 
I mean, okay. I'm okay with leaving now. We got the important stuff. Gary Foy, too. Excuse me, Mr. Molarats. Oh, uh, that was just another way into the living quarters. Okay. was a interesting vault. Um, vault. There's another one close by, I think. Uh, vault 92 is all the way up there. That's 106. We went to that. 87. Damn, we did almost all the vaults already. Uh, well, I don't know why Canterbury Commons is highlighted, but we'll go check them out. Where is it? There it is. Ow. Stupid rogue robots. I didn't mean to do that. I've been here before. Have you now? I gotta repair this power fist. It, uh, it's getting a little weak. Mm hmm. What's further up north? What's up here? It's like a discount store. Oh. Hello. Robot repair center. Enemy contact. I just love playing robots, don't I? Damn. This one was uh was much scarier than the other ones. Robot repair, huh? Hmm. Okay. Oh. They locked under your desk? Is there a key back here? Was it this one? Probably not. Ah, whatever. You know what? Nah. It's funny you should say that, that these things give you the creeps. It's just hanging around you. Um, uh, we got that on there. We can always go back here, because, you know, fast travel and all that. Um. Those are some intact buildings right there. Is that Canterbury Commons? It seems like it. Is this relevant to the mission? You hush your mouth. Hmm. 
It is Canterbury Commons. I've been here before. Okay, it seems like you've been everywhere. Oh. What? You'll never get away with terrorizing this town. Not while it's under the protection of the mechanist. What the hell? The citizens of this town have nothing to fear. The mechanist is here to protect them. Ha! We'll see about that. Attack my ant soldiers. Destroy this fool and his tin toys. Go What the hell is going on? Are they just gonna run away? Are you all right? You aren't hurt, are you? I'd like to apologize for the rude welcome. Those two have been a bit of a problem lately. What? <laughs> Name's Roe. <coughs> Uncle Roe to most. Welcome to Canterbury Commons. For what that's worth. Yeah, who are they? The, um, mechanist and the ant agonizer. That's just what they call themselves. It's ridiculous, I know. A while ago, we were attacked by the antagonist. antagonist. That woman with the ants, obviously. The mechanist saved the town with his robots. Well, that was all well and good, but I swear their fights are getting bigger, and it's been driving off the merchants. They simply won't leave. Sure, I might be able to help. Oh, that's terrific. I knew you'd help out. Knew it in my gut, and it's never steered me wrong on a deal yet. Find where the ant agonizer and the mechanist hide and convince them to stop or otherwise end their hostility, and you'll earn 200 caps. Ooh, whole 200 caps. Them, really. Nowadays, I think they only stay in Canterbury to fight each other. I don't need to double it. Great. I'm relieved to know the situation will be quickly resolved. Let me know if I... Oh, and please, do try to use some discretion. We already have plenty of would-be heroes starting wars in the streets. We don't need another. All right. If it'll help, I'm glad to. The superhuman gambit. There's the mechanist. The mechanist at? used to be our town mechanic, Scott Walensky. Quiet guy, but plenty fierce with a wrench and some solder. Guy used to take care of a robot that protected the town until it got torn up in one of the ant agonizer's lame little attacks. I guess he took it personal because he made a mechanical suit and called himself the mechanist. Said he would lead a robot army to fight her. Now he doesn't even respond to his name. And his robot army is more dangerous to the town than the ants ever were. Oh, jeez. One day there was a crazy woman leading a bunch of ants into town. She said humanity was dead and the ants would inherit the earth. Stuff like that. <laughs> well, that gave Dom plenty of time to line up a shot or two on the ants. She ran away, but every once in a while she'd stage an attack again. <laughs> she wasn't much of a threat then. In fact, she was sort of entertaining at first. Gave everyone in town something to talk about. But when the mechanist started fighting her, things got bad. Ants are easy to shoot, but add robots with lasers, it got real nasty. Huh. My nephew Derek might know more about them. I swear it's all I can do to keep him from running into the fight whenever they come out. He might know more about where you can find them, but don't encourage the poor boy. He's had enough close calls. All right. Um... We used to have a better mechanic, but that didn't work out so well. Yeah, because the other guy was a mechanic. Um, I mean... Oh, I don't have that many caps. Thought I had more. Uh, anything in trade? You can usually find one of the trade caravans at the entrance to town. They come through every day or two. Other than them, Porter's always got food for sale down at the diner. All right. So you gotta find his nephew. This looks like a nephew right here. Are you okay? Derek, perfect. Oh man, did you see it? Did you see it? The antagonizer was all like, fear me. But the mechanist was all stop, evildoer. The antagonizer, she's this evil supervillain who's trying to wipe out humans with her ants. And the mechanist protects us with his robots. And when they fight in town, it's incredible! There's all these lasers and biting and blood, and it's crazy. 
And then my uncle says I need to stay inside. He says it's dangerous. This is serious business, Derek. Hmm. You think they're neat too, huh? It's not like they ever hurt anyone. Well, not like really badly hurt or anything. Dom and Machete make sure that everyone gets inside when they fight like that. Though, sometimes I sneak out to watch. The traitors and the slavers and the raiders, they don't like the antagonizer or the mechanist. They say they're bad for business. Oh, yeah? But yeah, that's, that's right. Dumb. I want to find this. The I screwed that up with... Rip them to shreds. Uh, what's it that called? That shows them. Um, Fallout 2 with the slavers. Kind of let them live, and they kind of just, you know, got really powerful and took over a lot of the wasteland. Not going to try and get that again. I'm going to... As soon as I find their base, they're all dead. Uh... You mean the superheroes? Yeah. I'll try to watch all of their fights. I knew the mechanist back when he was just a normal hero. He used to be called Scott. Then he fixed up stuff around town. Okay. But one day, the antagonizer killed his favorite robot. And I told him he ought to fight back against her like a real superhero. Ever since then, he's been up on his forge in the back of the robot shop on the hill. Ah. Oh. to protect us all from the antagonist. I know where that is. I was just there. I don't know much about her, except she really, really doesn't like people. That's kind of cool. I mean, sometimes people are jerks. I think her lair is somewhere in the caves to the north of the city. I've seen her aunts down there once in a while. Joe Porter said he found out something about her, but my uncle won't let him tell me. He says, don't encourage the poor boy. Joe Porter, huh? And he was the guy that sells stuff at the diner. No way. Don't stop them. No Unless... Maybe you're going to be a superhero too. Sure, I'm you a superhero. You could be called super humongous and fight them with an army of super mutants. Uh, no. Well, Uncle Ro and I live in the Old Town Hall, and Mr. Porter runs diner the diner across, across the, street. the street. It's not really a big place. You got it. When you find those two cops, oh, right idiots, here. Put a bullet in their heads for me. Machete. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Fine. Hi. Whatever. I'm Machete, and I've got better things to do than talk with you. Scram. Damn. I know Dom doesn't want me just killing them. He and the Mechanist used to be friends or something. All I know is, next time they come to town, like she used to I bet I could solve the whole problem with one bullet for each of them. Okay. Thanks, Machete. Joe Porter. Just stumbled into town? He sure picked a fine day for it, with the crazies out there. Here. What a buttery smooth house. voice. Welcome to Canterbury. Thanks. I'm Joe Porter. I make sure folks around here can get a meal when they need it. We do our best. Well, Dom and Roe do mm -hmm. their best. I just make sure they've got enough food so they can keep on doing their best. Okay. If you ever find yourself starving around here, drop by Dot's Diner. We don't charge much, but don't expect any more freebies. Okay, damn. You mean apart from having cheesy names? Actually, I think I might know something useful. Okay. One of the traders told me she sounded like a girl he used to know. Girl's whole family was wiped out by ants. Not long before she showed up here. But they never found any trace of her body. Said her name was Tanya Kristoff. That might just be our little antagonizer. Okay. Tanya Kristoff. Her whole family was killed by a bunch of ants. Brian might know something about that. Uh, Only the best. Yeah, I, could, from I the got waste. a bunch of crap to sell For to what you. That's worth. Um, definitely not a mini nuke. Hmm. There we go. Another satisfied customer. Just gotta build up my uh my money again. Okay, so Tanya Kristoff. Well, I already have this place. 
on here. So let's go back to Rivet City, see where we can find Brian. See if he knows anything about that. He actually might. And while we're here, she probably sell some if stuff. You want a gun, you've come to the right. Decided to check out the shop, eh? If you want any of this shit, just holler. If you want any of this shit. No. Please. Don't know you. Don't care. Keep it. You're kidding, right? Flack and trap. Okay, it's both you guys. Um. What? Oh, if it's both of you, it might be well, that might be actually pretty useful. I'd be able to sell it to. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Um, that's enough. Another satisfied customer. So, are you a separate shop then? Nah, it's the same shop. Dang. Well, actually, made up your mind. Because most of the time, you guys have stims. Yeah. Uh, combat helmet. Bottle cap mine, probably. Dang, I just felt doing pretty good. Uh, I'm never going to be using these things. Thanks. Perfect. That's secure for a reason. You. Nice to see you again. I need chems. Misc. There we go. Hmm. I don't really need Psycho. These I want to keep. They're actually pretty useful. Junk food... I think that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Your stems. Stems. It's fine. Give me a shout if you need anything else. That's it. See ya. Alright, Brian. Where are you? Good to see you. I'll be right with you. Oh, right, flight deck. Hello. Always get more new cola. Nothing stops the railroad. You did a good thing delivering that component to Zimmer, telling him the android was dead. For that, oh, that's right. I'm going to entrust you with some information. The android's transformation was done by a man named Pinkerton here in Rivet City. He's hidden down in the broken fore section of the ship. You'll need to swim to reach him. But if oh. you're inclined, Pinkerton can perform a facial reconstruction on you as well. It won't disguise your identity, but you'll be able to experience life in a new skin and truly understand that we're all human on the inside. I don't need a facelift, but thank you for the information. I was able to figure that out by myself, though. Uh, hmm. You don't look so tough. Is that it? Oh, hey there. Brian! You're my hero, mister. I want to be just like you when I grow up. Oh, Vera's the nicest lady ever. It's so cool that you brought me here. Well, you kind of got here I mean, on your own. She makes me do stuff, like clean up her hotel and all that. But she really cares about me. Plus, I found some friends here in Rivet City, too. All thanks to you. Wait, is that it? Checking up on me or Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. Well. 
Oh well. Welcome. It wasn't. No, there wasn't anywhere that I heard the name Chris off before. Oh, right. You. We need a you ammo. Ugh, unfortunately we're gonna have to get some from here. If you want any pleasure doing business with Yeah, yeah. Alright. So now let's go back to Canterbury, because that's what we want to do right now. And unfortunately, we cannot. Uh, what's it called? Um, oh, right. We want to actually go. Let's talk to the robot repair center guy first. And he's not in the robot repair center itself. He needs to go. He has like a a place in the behind it. He said, like his fortress is behind it or something. Well, I don't see anything. Is that it? Huh. It says fortress is behind the place, but I don't think it's... Unless that's it. Oh, it actually might be. Oh, that's the Enclave over there. Oh. I mean... Don't mind if I do, right? Uh, always can just take out the Enclave. Um, hmm. That's fine. Pretty sweet just being able to just walk in here and just annihilate everything. Enclave officer. Experimental row ID. Interesting. Definitely take a plasma crystal. Sure. The row camp. A assigned skill of 50 to get that. So, flamer. Oh, we had a flamer. Oh, glad I didn't get close. Hmm. Well, as far as this concerned, I don't see anything that could be his base of operations. A mechanist. He must be inside. So, let's find out where he is inside. Maybe... We'll be able to talk to them and work something out. Like, instead of them fighting each other, they can just... Maybe just work together? Who knows? These wastelanders are still just outside, just hanging out. How strange. I don't know about you. Those are great Alright, let's go try and find this guy.
hear it? Holy crap. He takes so much damage. Yeah, I leveled up. Yeah, I really wish I didn't level that up. I don't know, I'm the big guns. So right now I could probably do like utility stuff. Um I mean I could do science stuff, right? Is there anything else? Hmm. Lockpick, medicine. Uh, this is a very good question. Um, hmm. Right, so that doesn't even matter. That eh, might matter soon. I'll open a little bit. Same with that. Um, I guess barter, right? Be cheaper to get stuff and better selling stuff? This is the thing that matters. Law bringer. Oh. For caps and... Oh. Okay, so these two are the opposites. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like the law burger. Let's do that. Your father would be proud of what you done. What by killing these guys? Okay. Um Okay, so maybe that's why that thing just died. We're trying to find the mechanist, though. We don't really care about these robots. Oh, right, this thing. Um, it's a six. I mean, this is pretty neat. I do like this. Although I do suck at it. Um, missing three out of the seven correct so we got to go to something that has similar ing maybe okay it's not ing we can assume that the S is correct, right? Maybe the S and the... Maybe the S and I? S and N? No. Might be. No. Not resting. Options. Might be actually. No. Oh god, I'm gonna get locked out. Definitely not that. That's nah, not correct either. It's not any of the ings. We know it's not any of the ings. It's not Siphon, it's not Emperor. Mankind, maybe? 
Testing is 2 out of 7. Missing is 3 out of 7. A M N and I. That would make sense. Did I do it? Oh, I did it! That's cool, they make it think. There we go. Alright, okay, we already did that. Okay, cool. Very nice. I might be dead. Ah, oh, definitely not dead. Oh god! One more for the brotherhood. Oof. Yeah, but I'm not doing that. Oof. Protect the trons. Take that. Our fusion cells, very good. Nice, lots of scrap too. Mm hmm. Nikola, Tesla, and you, very good. Take as many as you'd give me. Another one? Oh, God. All right. Four out of the five. That'd be five out of the five, so that's not correct. Be like six out of five, that's not correct. Okay, so ING is definitely in there. There we go. Oh well, that doesn't matter anymore. But, got a lot of XP for it. Oh uh, yeah? But where's our Star Paladin lady at? Seriously, where's she at? Where'd you go? A four way? I can just eat potato crisp. And take that. Where'd she go? You up here. Vigilance is nest. Where are you going? In the words of Elder Theus, a brother well equipped is a brother keeping to his duty. Ah, crap. I put way too much crap on her, too. Oh, I 
I getting in there? That was just to do that. Okay, that's fine. Is that a thing over there? Say a key. All right, I missed that. Whoops. Mechanist 4, there it is. Alright buddy, we gotta talk. Or not? Are you not in here? Take that. Is he? Hold on. Is the Magnus Center? He's in here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Jeez, man, you could be doing all like a lot more good than this crap. Oh my god. my defenses. Did the antagonizer send you? Speak now, citizen, or I'll be forced to detain you until I can ascertain your true motives. I mean... Yeah. I realize you mean well, but I'm afraid you're being naive. The antagonizer is a mad woman, and the only thing that will stop her is force. As much as I wish peace were an option, the antagonizer is too deluded, too inhuman, to listen to reason. Sadly, sometimes the scaly claw of tyranny must be destroyed by the cold, unfeeling pincers of justice. Oh, yeah? Hang on one second. Mm-hmm. Don't I look cooler now? Hmm. I trust everything is acceptable, citizen. Work. Is, yeah. Uh, is that true? Have I really become a bigger problem for the town than her? Am I really the villain here? Does this mean I can stop myself? I guess I can just give up my suit and stop being the mechanist. But I couldn't face the town after causing that much trouble. Here, please, take the suit. I don't want to think about it anymore. Huh. Well, I'm over encumbered now, thanks.
While that's fun and all, I don't really care about that. Also, oh, it's broken. Well, I guess I can wear that right now. I guess I can just drop it. Run. There we go. Is this relevant to the mission? <sighs> so much crap here. All right, whatever. It's fine. Oh, that was the entrance. Let's see, uh, let's quickly go to, because I know they have a lot of money now, so I'll sell, my, I'll sell a bunch of crap to them and make room. till 8 a.m. Morning. Don't even think of breaking into that. Where are these guys at? Do I have to wait longer? Well, I need yep. to go open up. Don't, don't tell me your problems. Oh, that's Brock. Decided to check out. Uh, hmm. That's scrap metal. Good roll money. Keep those conductors for myself. What do I want to sell you? Hmm. Sell that. Sell that. Plasma I'll keep. Keep that plasma pistol too, actually. Uh, ammo. A confusion cell I'll keep. Take those. And take those. Another satisfied. All right. There you. Let's get to uh, Megaton. Yeah. You need something. Come on. Doctor, wake up. Wait. There is a foul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trade In equipment. the words of Elder Theus, a brother well equipped is a brother keeping to his duty. Uh, hunting rifle, fission battery. We do have a lot of fission batteries. Yeah, I know. Up, Doctor, combat helmet, clipboards, take that, take those. All right, man. You came in here on your. Yeah, I'm gonna buy all your stims. And in return, I'm gonna give you a bunch of crap. Uh huh. Yes. Not bad helmet, sunglasses, uh, hunting rifle, 
things. That. Hmm. Is that it? Is the question. Got a lot of energy cells. Don't really need them. Okay. Perfect. You done? Good. Yes, I am. All right, come on. Going up here. Got to store everything else, especially the mini nuke. Fusion cell, probably keep just in case. Um, that in there. Mm -hmm. Don't really need those. We'll get those later if we need them. Alright, that's fine. Gotta go to the lady now. And talk to her and try to convince her. There she is. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, power fist. Alright, let's talk to this lady. Well, oh, good to know. Ants and... Just on the tripwire. What was it gonna trip? Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, I see it. It's gonna trip this. All right, so let's go back up here. for any mines or any kind of traps. What? Oh. Hello there. These ants aren't that scary. Not anymore. They used to be terrifying. This is a maze. That goes Honor back. Credit to your father. Does this go back up? Yeah, it does. We just went around in a big circle. Let's go straight. Going straight. Here we go. They're around here somewhere. There they are. Here we go. That was much easier to get to than the freaking mechanist.
Alright, not here to fight, I'm here to talk. Hello, lady. Hold on. And make sure that I look the part. Ah. Alright, I still got that. And save, of course. My spies tell me that meddling mechanist has been removed from the picture. I only wish I had that Tin Man shell to gloat over. Bring me the suit of the mechanist, and then we can talk. What? Oh. Oh, oh. Uh, fine. You are in the present at last. You've pried the shell off that meteor oh. mechanist. Give it to me. You would dare to tell the antagonizer to wait? No human commands the Ant Queen. But as you have defeated my nemesis, I will allow you to talk. Quickly. Oh, crap. As I thought. Now get... Isn't it only fitting to gloat over the corpse of one's fallen foe? To revel in a victory over a larger and stronger opponent? If I couldn't be there to huh. personally strip the facade from the iron interloper, the least I... Excellent. It shall make a fine memento of a nemesis bested. A trophy of a foe antagonized for your loyal assistance take this blade its sting carries the venom of a thousand ants and your foes shall tremble before it now that the tin plated menace is no yeah there was no way i was gonna pass that speech check nice i lost karma what if i just talked to her again with you. Far more important matters await the attention of the antagonist. Well, oh well. Boy, well, she's gonna unlock it. She's gonna unlock it. Can I go? Damn it. Alright, well. I just lost a little bit of karma. I still have plenty, right? Yeah. Ambassador of Peace. Lady anywhere? No, it doesn't. God, it's so far away. Uh I mean What did I get? Ant sting. That is a Yeah. Just a little bit of poison. It's still kinda cool. Let's see what this guy has to talk to me about. Hopefully the antagonizer will just leave. Fighting, I never did get to give you the official welcome to the town, did I? 
Welcome to Canterbury Commons, home of traders, caravanners, and most of all, of excellent bargains. Here for business or pleasure? Well, you guys got Damn the near all of them, depending on which caravans in town. Guns, armor, food, junk. Pretty much everyone swings by... Everyone okay. but slavers, that is. It's a hassle to transport their wares, as they say. Just as well, eh? Anything else I can do to welcome you to town? Uh... There we go. That's grand. I do believe it's fair to say you've saved Canterbury. And unlike that mechanist, you did so with significantly less stress all around. That I did. Now, I do believe this is our agreed-upon payment for your fine services rendered, and a little bonus as a special thank you. How much? Yay! There we go. I can give it a look. Uh, Tesla helmet. Sure. Can't repair it past 50, that's fine. Alright. Alright, well that takes care of that. Uh, and that'll do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Uh, we solved this little problem peacefully. Um, I wish we could have just talked to what's her face and talked her out of the being an ant queen but i don't think that was gonna happen so oh well uh next time we'll head to where will we head to temple of the union is that new regulator hq whoa hold on a minute we took care of the regulators in fallout one all right that's where we're gonna go next it's a regular hq i never knew about that um, but alright, yeah, we'll go there next, uh, so we'll see you all there. Be safe out there. I don't want to set the world 